Hi, my name is Carla Penderock. I'm the Director of Contributor Relations here at Paths to Understanding. Today, I'd like to talk to you about why self-care is important for us as allies. In my own exploration of self-care, I've noticed three ways in which taking care of myself impacts how I'm able to show up for others. Firstly, being an ally to people in our community who are being harmed by prejudice and injustice, that is challenging work. We are going to feel tired and overwhelmed at times, and that's when we need self-care to make sure we don't burn out. So we have the energy to do this work in the long run. Secondly, being an ally often involves having difficult conversations with people we disagree with. We're going to feel irritated at times and confused and even angry. That's where self-care can help us cultivate that inner calm and resilience that enables us to have those conversations in the most respectful and the most helpful way possible. And thirdly, becoming a more authentic ally also involves having difficult conversations with ourselves, investigating our own biases, recognizing where we've fallen short of being allies in the past. This is where self-care can bring up self-compassion so we can forgive ourselves, take responsibility for our actions and grow rather than getting stuck in shame or blame. There's a quote I really like by the psychologist Carl Rogers who described this transformative power of self-care. He said, the curious paradox is that when I accept myself just as I am, then I can change. So as you prepare to join us on this journey to becoming more authentic allies, take a minute to think about how you take care of yourself, body, mind, and spirit. On an average day, what do you do to replenish your energy? How do you make sure that you don't get stuck in difficult emotions? And what just helps you feel like your best self? If you consider yourself to be part of a wisdom tradition, think about whether there's a spiritual practice that helps you deepen into more self-awareness and self-compassion. And we will dive deeper into all of these aspects in the first session of our course together. In the meantime, if you'd like to read more on this topic, you'll find links to further reading in the course materials. And I look forward to meeting you in our first session. Take care.